What's up, guys? It is Hot Wheels Tournaments. It is currently 6 a.m. on Friday, July 20th, which means only one thing. Today is the beginning of the Matchbox Gathering of Friends. I just woke up from bed. I'm about to make the drive from Colorado to Albuquerque, New Mexico with John Racer 3, where we'll celebrate the Matchbox Gathering of Friends. We're going to get there this afternoon, but I'm going to vlog the entire three-day experience for you. So, uh, good morning to you all. Let's begin our trip. currently at the Matchbox Gathering at the Collectors Meeting, so the first day of the Matchbox Gathering every year. A bunch of collectors come together, do a meet and greet. Me and John are here. John, We're and, I. John and I are here. We're vlogging. Kind of in a gap between talking to people so we don't look weird. Um, but yeah, I forgot to be vlog the first couple of cars I bought because I was so excited to go buy cars, but uh, we'll be back later and doing some vlogging. Um, we're also doing a challenge video, so see you guys. Hey guys, we're back in the room after the meet and greet. Um, still no room to room vlogging yet because we got pizza for dinner. We got some Coke over here, it's great. Don't worry, um, if you guys miss some of the cars I buy, um, I'll show it to you in a video, that, or the end of this video, you'll see my total haul. I've gotten a lot so far, I've spent way too much planning already. Man, I'm not even probably a fifth of the way through it. So, it's a lot of fun. We're gonna do some room to room vlogging, I promise. I've got a cool challenge plan that we're gonna film while here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I got to meet the Matchbox team designer for the first time, the head team designer. Um, he's a Lugo. He's super cool, super chill dude. Me, John, and our friend Ezra had a talk with him, and it was just it was just really cool. We got to talk about Matchbox, learn about some of the behind the scenes workings. He was, oh man, I choked. <laughs> Anyways, he was cool enough to gift each of us a uh, 33 Ford car. It looks absolutely fantastic. It was really cool to talk to him. <laughs> because uh, he just gave us a behind the scenes look at Matchbox. Matchbox is just a really nice dude in general. So uh, uh, because of that, collect Matchbox, help him out. Let's buy some Matchbox, okay? It's a better brand than Hot Wheels in my opinion. So uh, yeah, that's it for now. We'll do some, okay, John's just leaning the camera there. So this vlog is just turning into a, just terrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm choking on camera, everything's going wrong.
We're currently getting ready to go into the dinner where the new convention model will be. I'll be unboxing it live and getting my reaction, so stay tuned. All right, we're about to get going and get that. I just don't want to know yet. Do you like it better when you don't know what it is than when you let it out before? Is it fun to have a surprise? Look at that. It's killing me. Oh, okay. Whatever. These guys don't want to know yet. Now they're going to have to know. Oh, it's too bad. They're going to know now. Yeah, the Skyjacker. Now, this is the next question. I told you I saw some like white walls or something like that.
that on the looks fantastic. Don't so any kids are just gonna. So any of the parts that they could do. Biggest piece in the collection. This one is, it's done the same way that those short run fails cars are done in the wooden boxes, same boxes. And uh, this one's an actual prototype as opposed to the stuff that they're selling. This was a show model that was in the Shade! Oh. Those are short run, they're nice quality. But this is an actual model that's been handmade and probably around about 20 people had handmade.
This guy got a Ford GT out here for the convention. It looks really sick. This is my new ride. Yeah, new ride. New ride. I saw the keys. I yeah. Have... Black with white stripes. It just looks really, really, really good. Just fantastic. Get that back shot. Shot of that rear. Oh man. 850 HP. I just got back from Albuquerque, New Mexico in the Matchbox Convention or Matchbox Gathering of Friends. I'm super stoked, it was so much fun, I already can't wait for next year. Anyways, I promised you guys to do a haul recap, but that's not gonna be super easy because I have well over 60, 70 cars on this table. So I could talk about basically each car individually all day. If you wanna see me actually go in depth, see some photos, see some reviews of these cars, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Hot Wheels Tournaments. I'll be posting photos of a lot of these cars over the next couple of weeks, probably uh, just months because it's gonna take me so long to open all this stuff and just get it all out and photograph it and all that. Anyways, if you wanna see photos, go follow me on Hot Wheels Tournaments on Instagram. The link's down in the description below. If you wanna see me review this stuff, just talk about it, make sure to go to my Matchbox Madness YouTube channel. I'll link that in the description below as well. There, I'll be talking, I'll be opening up some of the cars, probably reviewing them, talking about them, why I like them, all that good stuff. Anyways, here's your quick little haul recap. These two cars in the back, the Porsche and the uh, Sunburner, were gifted to me by the person who puts on the event, Jim Gallegos. Super cool guy. Um, he puts on an awesome event every year. I've been to it twice now. Can't wait for next year, as I said. I talked about it earlier. This was the 1933 Ford Coupe that was gifted to me by Abe Lugo, the head Matchbox team designer. This is going to be in a five pack that should be hitting stores relatively soon, but um, that was super cool. He's a super chill guy. Um, I talked a lot about him earlier in the video, so I'm sure you guys have heard enough of me talking about that, but he's a super cool guy. Um, absolutely awesome how he um, works with and talks to the Matchbox community. Anyways, as for the rest of this stuff, we got some Matchbox models from the early 2000s, late 90s. I don't really collect these cars. Some of them, like the BMWs and the Mercedes, I thought were cool. This was given to me. There was a guy there with a booth who was handing out free cars, so I went ahead and took one. 
These are the Hot Wheels I got, not a lot of them. Some cool rally cars, some Zamax, just stuff I mainly didn't have. We got some awesome super fast. We'll see this car in a special video I filmed at the convention later this week on Saturday. That'll be that upload. Um, I filmed it with some special guests as well. So mainly this is just super fast. Um, a lot of German stuff because I'm a big German car collector. That absolutely awesome 60th anniversary Lamborghini Gallardo. Super happy to see that one. Uh, and the Mira and the BMW M5, which I ended up missing in stores. I never saw them in stores, so I was able to get them there for about retail price. This is the mask. This is basically all the Golden Age stuff I found. Most of this was in that room I found for three. It was three bucks for two two bucks for three cars. So I was getting some of these cars priced at around 77 cents. Right now you're seeing the Jaguars and the Dodges. All the American cars I got are on the left. This is mainly British on the right. So Lotuses, Jaguars, uh, Cadillac, Buick. Ford, the El Camino, all that good stuff, and then the single hold the Australian company. Here's all the Audis I got. I saw some of these Audis at the convention, uh, in particular this one. I saw it priced at $25. I got it for 77 cents there, so there were some real bargains. I got the Audi R8, a couple more versions of that. I only had two up to this point. I now have six, so I've tripled my Audi R8 collection. Um, some more Audis, the TT, the TT Coupe, and some BMWs on, th actually, you missed one, the Citroen. Uh, and then on the right here, we get into the Mercedes-Benz, you see the SL55s, the Coupe, all that good stuff, the Unimog, which I really like. You'll see um, definitely some photos of that on Instagram. I'll do a, a video on Matchbox Madness at some point. Matchbox Madness is two to three uploads per week. You're now seeing some Porsches, by the way. Um, I'll probably, the first video I'm gonna do is actually on the car I'm about to show you, that Honda Ridgeline is dope. Few Lexuses. Um, anyways, the first video will be on the convention exclusives from there. This was the dinner model. Real quick, funny story on this one. When I got it, I actually got the rare variation. So the first 75 people to sign up for the event get a variation on the dinner model. The variation was the silver Zamac car. The one I opened was the silver Zamac. That was not the correct car. I went, returned it, got the one I was supposed to get, the all gold Ford F350. So, um, kind of sucks not to have the rare variation, but I didn't want to keep it from someone else. Um, so I went ahead, took the less rare one. Honestly, I think the gold's a little cooler than the Zamac as it is. But um, enough talking about that model. This was the dealer model. This is the Datsun 510 Rally. Looks super cool. I got it signed by Abe Lugo because uh, the head matchbox designer, we've talked about him a lot this video, because he designed the deco for this one. He also went ahead and signed my poster for it. Michael Horalda, who did the deco for the Ford F350, I got him to sign my poster. He also has, I also have a signed postcard. They both signed the information seat, seats for their respectful car. I got a Ford GT Super at a low price because it's kind of on a beat up card, but um, super cool to have that one. I was looking for it. I think the Super looks better than the regular version of that one. There's my convention tag. You will also see videos on these two cars. These were the two cars I was looking for. Um, I consider this one a grail piece, the BMW 1M. I wanted this so bad. Ezra actually hooked me up on a deal with this thing for only $45, which for this car is extremely well priced. Um, I've seen them go on eBay for $130, $140, so you're talking I may have gotten $100 off on this card. So shout out to Ezra if you're watching this video. Thanks for hooking me up, man. Anyways, um, super cool car, absolutely awesome casting. That's a German toy show exclusive, as is the one on the right, the BMW M5. I like the 1M more, as you guys know, in my top five Matchbox video, but the M5 is not bad either. This one's super cool. It's a traveling doctor car. That's something they have in Germany that they don't have here. But again, just an absolutely awesome car. There's the 2018 new model sheet. So if you haven't seen the 2018 new models, somehow at this point, there you go. This is the SEMA exclusive Ford F350 Super Lift. I believe this is a 2013 SEMA exclusive. It's really, really cool. Um, Michael Herald actually hooked me up with this one for a pretty good price too. So um, thanks to Michael if you're watching this video as well. Um, that was a super good deal. Um, 30 bucks, I'll take it. I saw some of these going around 80, 90, 100 range. So um, super cool. And then last but not least, they were handing out these design sheets. These aren't authentic. These are just reprints. It'd be cool if it was authentic, but it's the uh, Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. So I went ahead and got a Silver Cloud to go with it. Anyways, that's my total haul. I will definitely be do do doing some videos on the BMWs, the Super Lift, um, the convention models. The convention model video will probably be up um, 
It's probably already up at this point, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, either went up today or yesterday, based on how my scheduling's doing, but I'll have a review of those up. You'll probably see a few reviews. I'll probably take a look at the RS6 Avant, the Unimog, probably an R8 for you guys, maybe some Jags, um, maybe the Ford TTs, maybe one or two super fast. But um, yeah, make sure to go subscribe to Matchbox Madness to see more Matchbox reviews, just on the stuff you saw here, because I can't go in depth on it. Um, some of these cars will be appearing in Hot Wheels Supercars, because I know you guys love that. Oh, I missed like three cars in the back here. Whoops, real quick, these are Norevs. I believe this is a French brand. Um, I may be wrong on that, but super cool rally cars realistic, so I picked up a couple. I got a realistic looking Bentley race car because that thing looks awesome, and some Tamikas. But anyways, subscribe to me on it, or subscribe to Matchbox Madness to see more Matchbox content. Subscribe to Hot Wheels Tournaments to see more content. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And follow me on Hot Wheels Tournaments on Instagram to see photos of all of these awesome models. That's all for now. I'm really sorry this is a huge video, but it's also a huge event. So, I'll see you all later. Peace. I keep forgetting to mention stuff. I forgot to mention the posters I won. Um, I'm not going to unroll them because it's a lot of work to do. But at the auction, I bid on a couple of posters. I won a poster for the BMW i8 and the E-Star delivery truck, which is like, it's a delivery truck, but it's kind of got a unique look and it's electric, it's super cool. But I won those from the auction, all that money went to charity, which is also super cool. You guys saw some clips from that. Unfortunately, I didn't record any of the, uh, things that I bid on I won. I bid on about six things, came away with two, so not too bad. Um, I got them for decent prices. So now the video's done, I promise, I swear, we're done with this video. You'll see the thumbnail with the video options, and that's it. So peace.